Throughout history, women have been the inspiration of men in constructing and shaping ideas. Many have been the backbone of liberation struggles and some have even been at the forefront. Such is the case of Puerto Rican revolutionary Blanca Canales. Blanca Canales was a prominent member of the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party. Her main contribution was her leadership during the Hayuya Uprising or El Grito de Hayuya in the fall of 1950. Born on February 17, 1906 in Hayuya, Puerto Rico, into a politically active family who favored independence, Canales grew up reading, studying, and attending political meetings with her father. As a young girl, she was immersed in political speeches, flag-waving, and patriotic fervor. She was also the younger sister of writer and politician Nemesio Canales. In 1924, following the death of her father, her mother moved the family to Ponce, where Canales would graduate high school and in 1930 earned her bachelor's degree from the University of Puerto Rico. After her studies, she returned to Hayuya to work at a local rural school. By then, Blanca Canales was very familiar with the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party and its leader, Albizu Campos. She joined in 1931 and became active in organizing the Daughters of Freedom, the women's branch of the Nationalist Party. During the 1930s, a series of hostile events between the U.S. appointed government and the Nationalists took place, including the Rio Piedras Massacre, the Ponce Massacre, and the arrest of Albizu Campos. However, Canales' role in the party during the 30s and even the 40s was limited to organizing and money collection. In 1946, Albizu Campos was released from prison. Shortly after, he would continue where he left off giving speeches and calling the people to action. On October 26, 1950, Albizu held a political meeting in Fajardo. After the meeting, he received word that he was going to be arrested. He escaped and ordered the revolution to start. This order was followed by nationalists throughout the island, including those in Hayuya. On October 30, 1950, Blanca Canales and other leaders, including her cousin Elio Terrasola and Carlos Irizarry, entered the town of Hayuya with a group of nationalists in a bus and a car waving flags which had been outlawed. They proceeded to her house where she had been stockpiling weapons. Assembled in the yard of her home, those prepared to participate in the revolution were administered an oath by Canales to defend their country and flag with their lives if necessary. As the Nationalist struck out for City Hall, she was the only woman among 20 men. Armed with weapons she had stored, they attacked and took over the police station. They also occupied the post office and the telephone station. They then reached the town plaza and raised the Puerto Rican flag and declared Puerto Rico a free republic. The town of Hayuya was under the control of the revolutionaries for three days despite it being attacked by U.S. military planes U.S. infantry troops, and the Puerto Rican National Guard. The revolutionaries finally surrendered on November 1st, 1950 to avoid further devastation of the city. Blanca Canales was arrested and accused of killing a police officer and wounding several others. She was also accused of burning down the local post office. She was sentenced to life imprisonment plus 60 years. After almost 17 years in prison, she was given a full pardon by Puerto Rican Governor Roberto Sanchez Villela in 1967. She continued to advocate for Puerto Rican independence until the day she died at the age of 90 on July 25, 1996 in the very town that she was born in and led the uprising in. The house in which she and her brother Nemesio Canales were born and raised was turned into a museum by the city of Hayuya. Her name was also placed on a plaque at a monument in Mayagüe, honoring the women of the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.